Find my iPhone? Forget about it. I want to know where my Nexus is. Pray for Android today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile application news and reviews. I'm Chris Jennings. And I'm Mauricio Balvanera. And we got a little short episode for you today. We're, we're prepping for CES. We're going to be there next week. We're doing a couple episodes with Jackie. Um, straight out of Vegas. It's going to be fun. For you guys. It'll be interesting. Yeah. Uh, I assume a lot of you guys probably got a brand new phone. Yeah. Over the holidays. We all got maybe. some toys over the holidays. Brand new, brand new gear. Uh, but my one worry is as soon as I plop down all that money for my new <laughs> Galaxy Nexus was, Oof. man, what if I lose this thing? I think that's everyone's worst nightmare. It Losing is. it, having it stolen. Yeah, you yeah. just want to know where your phone is at all times. Luckily, there's insurance for these guys. Yeah, I got the insurance yeah. too, actually. Good. I got suckered into it, but it's worth it. But what if you do happen to lose it? What if it's stolen or you just can't find it? Um, what are the solutions? Obviously, iPhone has uh, Find My iPhone, mm -hmm. which works great if you're into the whole um, iDisk thing and, and all the involved parts. But I, I've kind of stopped using that since using Spotify and all, all of these non-Apple mm. things. Yeah, that really limits you to the, only those people who've totally bought into Apple. And there right. are a lot of us out there who have a iPhones and who have Android who yeah. just don't, exactly. don't get into that. Exactly. So you found a solution for this. Yeah, I've been using Prey on my Galaxy Nexus. Mm -hmm. And I really like it so far. And it's, it's great because it's good for all of your gadgets. It's yeah. not really just for phones. It's good for if somebody steals your laptop or mm -hmm. your tablet. It's, it's really good because no matter what sort of device you have, you can connect it all in one easy to use service. That was actually pretty surprising. I downloaded what I thought was a client to view where my phone was, but it was actually a client to track my laptop. Mm -hmm. um, so that's great. So this is a, an Android uh, and iPhone um, uh, specific uh, application. Uh, but tell us how it works. Yeah, well, it's it's something that you download for your PC or your Mac. So you set it up on a desktop. You know, primarily you'd want that to be a laptop, something that'd be portable. Yeah. So you know, not too many people are going to steal your desktop, but maybe that happens sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, you set up the software on your PC or your Mac, and then you can associate other devices with it. So you'll you'll have it set up on your computer, and then you can download the app from the Android market, mm -hmm. and then you can associate your device to your account. So right. you can log on to it on your desktop, on the web interface, and through the app, and you can see the devices you have associated with it, and then you can keep track of where they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I did things a little backwards. I actually downloaded it to my phone first after you ah. told me about it. And it actually lets you sign up uh, from your phone. A little more tedious, obviously. Yeah. But it still works fine. Um, and once you're in there, the controls, the granular, granular controls are pretty awesome. Uh, my favorite part, hands down, is if your phone is lost, you send it a text message. You sent me a text message yes. to trigger this, and all it says is, go pray. <laughs> well, that, that's the beauty of that. I mean, you can, you can also customize you that. You can customize it, but so, that's the default setting. Yeah. Which yeah. is pretty fun. Put pray in action. I mean, yeah. really, that's what it is. You have something, you download that little thing in your phone, and it sort of sits there, it doesn't use a lot of resources. Yeah. It's not going to be invading what you're doing, but when it, when it reads that text message, wherever you want it to be, it'll jump into action. Yeah. So and that will activate it. It kind of lies there asleep until it needs to wait. Up. Now, is this a free service? This is a free app, yes. Okay. And there's a, there's a free service. There are, there's a pro version if you need it. I think most of us would be fine with the, with the free version, but mm -hmm. a pro account, they start at $5 per month. They have a, it's a tiered plan. They have a few different options, but on the higher end, you can track up to 500 different devices. So if you're doing something with your business or if you have a whole army of people with phones and you want to keep them all safe, you could do that. That's great. Yeah. Um, I also noticed, so once you sent me the text message saying, go pray, mm -hmm. uh, I, I got a message immediately saying, uh, your phone is not being tracked. It actually apologized, like, I'm sorry, sorry to hear your phone just got stolen or is, <laughs> is missing. <laughs> so um, nice. And it showed me a map of uh, it, it sends an initial uh, email saying, "Sorry to hear your phone's missing. We're right. working on this." Immediately got a second email saying, "Here's your phone uh, with the with the map geolocation." And since uh, since we tested it here in the office, it was all sitting on Wi-Fi. Uh, it gave me the IP address. Oh, that's of, great. of the office, which is pretty useful. So it's using GPS and Wi-Fi. Um, and you can, I saw the setting where you, it'll detect uh, a change in SIM card. Yeah, in case you get somebody who steals the phone and wants to just start new with a new SIM card, think, oh, well, now it'll be fine. I'll just put the SIM card in. No one will know it's a stolen phone. Yeah. But Prey will uh -uh. know it's a stolen phone. It can detect the change in the SIM card. That's very, very cool. You can also use the webcam on your laptop to take a, a photo of somebody oh. who's stolen your, your computer. Oh, cool. Yeah, so you can really catch them in the act of stealing your computer, which is very great. cool. Yeah. All right, we're going to check out some pros and cons and a few more features 
numbers in a sec, but first let's thank our sponsor. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, your Mac, or right to your TV with an Xbox 360, PS3, Nintendo Wii, and many other devices. I use, I use it on my Xbox all the time. It's pretty uh, cool. Yeah. Watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want, and cancel anytime, although I don't know why you would. You're not going to cancel. You're not going to cancel. <laughs> For a limited time, as a new member and an app judgment viewer, you can get a free 30-day trial membership. Just go to netflix.com slash AJ and sign up, and be sure to use this URL so that they know we sent you. So I think we pretty much covered everything at this point. Yeah, there are a lot of features here. I think we touched on all of them. Definitely some good things going on. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, in terms of pro, there's a lot. We have a lot more pros than we have cons at this yeah. point. Yeah. Um, it is free. It is fairly simple to um, install, especially considering how much control you have. You have a lot of control. And we were just talking about it. It seems silly nowadays to not have some sort of app on your phone yeah. that can track it, just in case. It's yeah. one of those apps you hope you never use. You don't ever want to look at this app. Exactly. But you know, if if something happens, it's that peace of mind. It's you need you need one. This one's free. It was easy to set up. We, yeah. we were up and running in minutes. It was really simple to do. And and that said. Um, it, it's extremely difficult to test. If everything goes as according to plan, it should help Every, you find your phone. Everything we've tried works, and it worked beautifully. Yeah. So I know we, uh, this is our number one question from you guys. How do I get my phone back? Um, install this now. This will do it. Don't try to install it after your phone's been stolen. Yeah. <laughs> it's a new it year. You've got new phones. Do it. It's, like we said, not really a resource hog. The battery life has been good. It hasn't been draining our battery. Right. So a lot of positives with this one. Definitely download it. Check it out. See how it works for you. So mm -hmm. far, so good with us. It's a download. Download it. It's a download. Da download. Download. Download it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, if you have any questions or any other suggestions for a phone tracking application, let us know at appjudgment at revision3.com. Hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and the Google Pluses. Yes. Yeah. And um, we'll see you, and we'll see you tomorrow, and we'll see you next week at CES. Mm. Lots of phones are stolen at CES. That's right.